Welcome to the channel. I am Easy Now One Three Three Seven. I am covering for DPJ this week while he's on holiday, and I wanted to bring you a video of how to get millions of Kuiper through using your Enzo character and opening encrypted vaults. Before we go any further into the video, DPJ wants to thank you for all your support that he's had on this game and is giving away Ultimate Descendants every week. Unlike most people, his giveaways are actually legit and he's going to be picking on a weekly basis for people who like and comment on his videos the more he sees of you the more chance of you winning and winners will be picked and announced at the end of every week and also go join the discord it's linked below and help him build his amazing first descendant army this could be done with any character but for enzo's passive skill he has here efficiency increases when enzo disarms the security of the encrypted vaults and rewards increase when this happened basically what this means is he can get more Kuiper from opening a vault. He can get more of the materials from opening a vault and have recently buffed it to be three times as much, I believe. So you're going to get a lot of materials from this farm. Now, the little game that you play where the little needle spins around and you got to hit it in the highlighted area, it's way easier with Enzo. His highlighted sections will be bigger. The needle will move slower and it takes less hits for you to actually unlock the vault. But you do need items, code breakers for the lesser of the vaults which don't give you kuiper but give you the materials still the precision code breakers which give you usually around about 30,000 kuiper per every time you open it plus the materials and then ultra precision code breakers which give you roughly 75 to 80,000 kuiper every time you open one and the materials on top of that so how do you get these well these drop from pretty much everywhere as you can see they come from mission monsters and the vespa pretty much everywhere in the game so i'm going to show you where i found them dropping the most for me specifically and that is over on the sterile land if we go down here to rockfall so i'm going to just load in there now and then from here we just head around to this first mission now this was a farming spot i'm currently on private mode so you won't see anyone here but this was a place where it just seemed to drop more for me than anywhere else i'm going to run through it really quickly just so you can see so you kill a few enemies here you run up here and then we're going to do a couple more enemies here. If I hate these immunity ones. They just don't ever want to die. God, I wish I had my Valby on. Kill these enemies here in this corner. Then over here. Like so. Over here, kill these lot. And then it's going to all spawn back in the middle. Boom, boom, boom. A lot of these enemies like to run at you as well. So are you going to die or not? A lot of the code breakers I got dropped from here. And you have to farm it on hard to get the code breakers. Otherwise, you'll get the analyzers. Oh, God. Which is for the normal mode vaults. And it's just that. And then you can just go back over here and restart it. Or if you're in a little farm group, one person can stand here and just keep activating it while everyone else farms it. This is where I got the most code breakers for me personally. Doesn't mean that it would be the same for you. Just hit up any farm. Kill as many enemies as you can. And they will drop them. So we are going to start over here for Agna Desert and Vermilion Waste. This is the original farm where you can keep loading back in and get in the same vault, except I think they have fixed it. The great thing about starting here is that you can tell from here whether or not that vault is in that cave. It is at the moment, so we are going to go and open that. And this was a place where you could just reload into Albion and then reload back here. And there'd be like nine times out of ten another vault in here for you to open. Plus all these materials in the munitions boxes. So we're going to go over here. And it's an ultra precision code breaker. Great start. You're going to see how much easier it is now. You can already see that it's a much bigger highlighted area. And the needle is so slow. It's just so easy. Boom. Three ticks. And then we get how much Kuiper? 73,909 plus 12 of the mixed energy residue. Now, if you kept coming back here and doing this farm great it works but you'll only get the materials from this planet so i found a way to go around to all the planets and we're going to go and have a look at them so once you do the agna desert one the rumor is it takes eight volts for it to come back it's not always the case but what you can do is go around all the other areas so vespers is where i like to go to next we go down to the ruins now this one's a little bit further away but i'm going to show you where it is i don't think it's here at the moment but i'm going to show you where it usually spawns and I'll even show it on screen as a clip as well, because I had it recorded from earlier. Now, this one doesn't spawn as often as the other planets, but this is the closest one and the one that does spawn often. It's usually sitting here. Uh, 
The Magisters have set codes that are too easy. <laughs> All the other vaults on this entire planet, from my understanding, are nowhere close to the spawn points. So you would have to run around searching for it using your little blip. This for me is the closest one, unless I've completely missed one. This is the closest one to a spawn point, so it's the easiest one to check. The next up, we head to Echo Swamp, over to Muskeg Swamp, and we're going to spawn at this one here. Make sure you unlock this because there are two nearby vaults here, which makes it doubly efficient. So as you spawn in, we're going to run down here to the right. And we're going to drop down here. One of the vaults is right here, which is the one we're going to open right now. Boom. One click to get it. What do we get in terms of Kuiper? 25,000 and some thermal metallic foil. The other one is over here in this cave. And this one seems to show up more often than not. I have recently opened them all though, so it's probably why it's not there. Oh, it is there? Oh, it didn't beep up for me. But now we've got two. So, you know, pretty cool. 50,000 Kuiper just from opening these two in the space of what 10 15 seconds pretty damn sweet let's move on to the next area so for white knight gulch i have found that the best and most often i find one is near the observatory these rarely spawn for some reason in the places where they should be but the one near the observatory is definitely the best one for me anyway when i've been doing it so you spawn in this little cave we've run forward and this one's probably one of the lengthier ones to run to I use midair maneuvers and we get up here. Unfortunately, I have to wait for my grapple to come back. Come on, grapple. We go up here and then we're just going to run in a straight line. Avoid these enemies so they don't hurt me. No, don't look at me. And we're going to go just over here around this little corner edge. And it will always be sitting in here. And right now we have a white one. So, you know, this one's going to be really easy. But these can be randomly any color, any value. So, you know, you just got to check them out. I think it's worth spending the code breakers on these ones. You get good materials for them. And that is the closest one for me in White Knight Gulch. Let's move on to Sterile Land. Right, so we're going to the classified area in Sterile Land. We're going to spawn up here. This is the only area that has vaults in in the entirety of Sterile Land. So even if this one doesn't hit for you, you want to search around. There are like about four or five in this tiny little area. But the one that is most efficient and closest for me is just around this corner. We're going to go over here. We're going to jump over this gap. We Oh god, I nearly I nearly missed. And then it can be right here where this one is. Oh, it's another normal code breaker one. So next we are on Hagia, so I'm going to go down to Dune base and we're going to spawn at this one here, not the main one, the temporary safe zone. Because this is probably one of the closest ones out of all the areas. You run down here and it should be right here, which is great. Out. I didn't I didn't mean to hit the floor like that. And then we can open this one. Boom. Just have set codes that are too easy. <laughs> too easy. You're damn right it's too easy, Enzo. Pow, like that. I haven't even been looking at the amount of Kuipers that I've been getting, but you can see just from this video's sake, I'm probably up like, what, 150,000-ish? Or will be, hopefully, when I get an Ultra Precision on the next one, which is in Fortress. So, in Fortress, down in Aurora Forest, you're going to spawn here. And you're going to just take a quick run over this way to the right towards this little mission that I have highlighted for some reason. I'm tracking something on there. We run forward and I don't think it's here at the moment. So I'll cut to the footage where I did pick it up. We're going to jump down here. Whee! And then we're going to go in this little cave. And this little cave holds the vault. And it'll be just here behind this box sitting right there. That's an intriguing code, but it's still a piece of cake. These are the ones for me that have got, you know, the fastest and easiest route to get to after most of the spawns, and I've checked most of them. And these are the ones that seem to spawn more often than others. So definitely worth taking this route and getting as many as you can on the way. And then... All you need to do, go back to Agda Desert and start it all over again. And hopefully because Agda Desert is, you know, one of the better farms, this one will be here waiting for you. And I find that this one usually is an ultra precision one. I don't know why, but for me, I've just like, 
seven times out of ten it's been ultra precision but no my lock it won't be here now oh no it is there let's go and open it and see what it is so this farm when it was first found was just so overused that they nerfed it because it used to be here nine times out of ten now you can go like 15 minutes without it being here but sometimes as well you can just get it four or five times in a row which is really crazy and look ultra precision let's use it let's open it let's get some kuiper thank you very much enzo for all this kuiper and materials actually to be fair and we're back to where we started with eighty thousand kuiper shard and 14 mixed energy residue now, if you're not too bothered about getting different materials from different parts of the planet, you can just fly back to Albion and come back to Agna Desert. And more often than not, this will be here. This seems to be the most frequent spawn of any vault in the game. So you can like hedge your bets and just hope that the vault is here. And as you can see, we're getting another precision code breaker one. And this will just be able to feed you Kuiper Shards. But if you do want the materials from other planets, just make sure you take in the route for the, the best and easiest, most efficient ones to farm. And then we get another amount of Kuiper Shards here in the total of 73,000 and some more mixed energy residue. So that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. I hope you get loads of Kuiper, loads of materials. And yeah, thank you for watching. I've been easy now and you guys have been awesome.